So the Ghislaine Maxwell trial has finally started, and it's already getting spicy. First off, the FAA accidentally released over 2,000 flight logs that weren't supposed to be released on who flew on Epstein's Lolita Express. So we are going to find out lots of new famous pedophiles in the coming days, I assume. And Epstein's pilot has just testified that Bill Clinton flew on Epstein's pedo plane many times, so this is already going at 100 miles an hour already. And already Ghislaine Maxwell's attorneys are slamming Epstein's victims as bullshitters and actresses. You just can't get a child sex slaves nowadays, can you? Back in the day, they shut up and got abused in quiet. Disgraceful. So this trial is already going great guns, and it's only just started. But as you know, on this channel, we enjoy the many coincidences that the world throws at us. I mean, everything is a coincidence. If you believe the narrative we are told, to connect the dots means you are racist conspiracy theorist. Stop using any form of logic and believe what you are told to believe, you bigot. So just by coincidence, yesterday, the CEO of Twitter resigned, and the CFO of CNBC, and the CFO of Walmart, and the CFO of Goldman Sachs on the day of the trial starting. And there's a string of politicians, mainly from the left in America, about to retire. Hmm. Oh wow, that's really weird, isn't it? But I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Probably got nothing to do with the trial. I mean, these are exactly the type of rich and powerful people who would have flown with Epstein to his kid fucker island. And the chick who's probably fucking furious, who knows all the hot goss, is standing trial. And he's probably about to take everyone down with her. Let's hope she doesn't kill herself in the middle of this trial, eh? <laughs> but maybe that's not enough for you. Maybe that, that is just a coincidence. But these coincidences, they are coming thick and fast today. Because... Today, by total coincidence, Twitter banned sharing images or videos of private individuals without their consent. Oh wow! What a coincidence! The moment a trial starts about a billionaire who had a painting of Bill Clinton in a dress in his house to show dominance and ownership, a trial that more than likely has a treasure trove of photos of very rich and powerful people fucking literal children. That is, remember, what the entire case is about. Epstein having a party pedo island where the rich and famous came over to have sex with kids. Twitter bans sharing photos without the people in the photo's consent. Bill Clinton, do you consent to us sharing this photo of you raping a baby? No, I do not. And I did not have relations with that baby. But it's just a coincidence, guys. Like everything else. The biggest transfer of wealth ever during COVID lockdowns. That's a coincidence. The fact you can't sue the makers of the vaccine. Coincidence. It's all coincidence. Now shut the fuck up and believe what you were spoon fed, you little white supremacist. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks, bye.